Rise and Shine. Green String Time. April and May. Buckle up. I'd like to welcome everybody to start your day with CKJ the right way with the green stream. Green stream, Monday morning, April and May, buckle up, market's on fire. Uh, CFTC chair calls for U.S. to be leader in digital assets. CFTC chair, which is also uh, head of the FSOC, Financial Stability Oversight Council, which ties to Mnuchin, uh, plans with them plans clearly. The world is going to see a CBDC XRP bridge currency sooner than you think. Sooner than you think. Cashless society. Korea runs on Ripple. Two new records broken. XRP. Smash them thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. And let's get this party started. Let me tweet this. Uh, German CFTC USA will be leader in digital assets. Oh, no doubt about that. No doubt about that. Okay, and, uh, okay. Good morning. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I hope everybody is being safe. Runs on Ripple. And, okay. Two new records. And this is two new records for XRP. Oh, man, it's going to be broken record after broken record. Hit link, join, green, stream. If y'all took my advice on Instagram last night, you'd be happy as hell right now. If you took my advice on Instagram last night, you'd be happy as hell right now. <laughs> Alright, let's get this show started. If you would have took that advice on Instagram last night, you'd be woke up happy as hell. All right, uh, Crypto Revolution, Coach Joe. Let me see how we look here today. Look good, sound good. I'm happy as hell. Okay, All perfect. Right, uh, <clears throat> Let's do this. Got the coffee, got the orange juice. Let's rock and roll. Crypto Revolution, Coach Joe, Crypto, Carl Eric B. Good morning. Crypto Cosby, XRP Matt, XRP Robert, XRP Free Me, Who Me, John A. is my hero. Jamie Dawson, 40K for the doctor. Smash some thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Mr. PhD himself is here. Have no fear. XRP Moonrider, bet the damn vet from the Bay is here. Uh, Ms. Gold, my buddy from my buddy, my buddy Ms. is here. Deshaun the legend. Good one. Good to see you. He's a legend. Cambo, Coach Joe, Awake Lily, Stock Supremacy, Mario, Rose, Angelina, Melina, Melina, Lifestyle, Juan, XRP Dawson, Level Playing Field. Dan Carney, legend, Bank XRP India, uh, James Shepard, <laughs> 858, Rob Minion, James LaMarco, good to see you, my brother LaMarco. I think I ran across you on Instagram also, LaMarco. Did you just start an Instagram or something, but you don't have no posts? I think that was you, unless there's a different LaMarco. For the Crown, Vapor Wizard, good to see you. Dawson, Carl Eric B., good morning. And I'd like to welcome everybody to the Green Stream, of course. Is this your first time using coin market cap? No. Next. Oh, what the hell is this? Like a survey? Survey? Yeah, guys, and CZ bought a coin market cap too, so I'm assuming that we can trust coin market cap now. What up, Ross Team James, uh, James Rules XRP? Tim Bryan. Oh, that was you? Yeah, I've been on Instagram a lot lately. Just playing around. Tell him, Miss C. Buckle up. Yeah, guys, historically, 
Like I've been saying this for the last uh, week or so, a couple weeks here, is historically the market has always done fairly well in April and May. And believe it or not, to me, I mean, we had a small dip about a month ago, but the market has been performing pretty well. Um, you know, Bitcoin right now is 7,000, XRP is 18 cent, but pumping 5%. Bitcoin Cash just hit 243. Binance Coin is all the way up to $14. Good God. Uh, Tezos 176. Stellar says it's pumping 14 cent, 14%. I like to see it move up a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. Let's just let's check our uh, staking tokens real quick. A L G O staking and bacon. 18 cent right there. And here goes the breakout star from last night. Cosmos. Let's see what it's doing. Whoa, 230. Okay. <laughs> and we'll talk more about that in, in a minute. That's for sure. All right, let's do this. I'd like to welcome everybody uh, to start your day with CKJ, a.k.a. Dr. FOMO. If you guys can smash some thumbs up, hit that subscribe. Today is the green stream. Hell yeah. Uh, CFTC chairman, which this guy right here is a big time heavyweight, guys, calls for U.S. to be leader in digital assets. So far, he's gave clarity on BTC and Ethereum and uh, pretty much XRP. I'm telling you, it already has clarity within the market. Welcome to the green stream. So that means the market probably is about to start pumping a little bit harder. Lamarco, you're a legend. Yeah, guys, believe it or not, I didn't watch the news all day Sunday. I didn't really watch too much crypto yesterday, too much news. I'm like, man, this news is getting kind of crazy. But uh, from what I see, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a doctor. I'm just documenting my journey. But Chris Larson's okay, so I'm assuming there's a cure, right? Um, there's a cure going around out there. It has to be. Chris Larson's okay. You know, a lot of people that I've seen that, you know, had it. They're okay. So what the hell's going on here? Damn right, we're winning. Winning big time. Uh, Blockchain Monkey, good to see you. Uh, Blockchain, how do you feel about all the gyms being closed, bro? That's like a nightmare. I cannot believe the gyms are closed. Gyms closed. I don't like the gym being closed. Well, I'm still talking about, I didn't really look up crypto news yesterday or like the mainstream media, mainstream media news. I'm starting to see like so many different conspiracies out there and I don't want to cause like a tinfoil hat situation. People have been sending me major videos of, uh, I don't know, it, it's hard to determine what's real and what's fake with social media these days. But, um, you know, there's videos where people are going up to the hospital in New York and, you know, it's empty and the waiting rooms are empty and... Uh, then they're going to all these different hospitals and stuff. But like I said, it's just, you know, with social media, it's hard to tell what, what's right and what's wrong. So, what up, Chuck? Real good to see you. So, I don't know. I know you guys seen some similar videos on social media like that, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, what is really going on? I think it has everything to do with this financial reset, which I got a couple articles that reflect that, too. Uh, um, you know, as far as, you know, we may see... I got some articles that, I, that reflect what I think is going on. Uh, first one we're going to cover is Chairman CFTC calls for U.S. to be leader in digital assets. Uh, the world is going to see a CBD, C, XRP sooner than expected. People are concerned about cash. Now, that's, that's what I think what's really going on is the cash thing and the financial reset. So, we're going to talk about that, that's for sure. Uh, what up, Jay Lopez? Good to see you, bro. I know today I'm going to hit the dumbbells at home like I'm at the gym. I got no choice. Ms. C, global financial reset, shut it down and reset it. I think Ms. C's right on the money with that. Uh, for real, the bill collector, I work at the hospital. It's not fake. You know what's crazy is I got a couple other people that work in the stream, and uh, one guy sent me a message. He said his wife is a RN, and, you know, she's he's saying the opposite. <laughs> but then I see people in here that said, no, nah, I'm at the hospital and it's not fake. You know, I'm not saying it's fake. I just don't know what to believe out of the whole scenario. To me, Chris Larson is okay. So that, that lets me know that there's got to be some kind of what cure, right? There's got to be some kind of vaccine. What, 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 what Chris Larson do? Bullish Brothers, good morning. You know, just in case I have been staying home, just in case. Just in case. I'm not here to dispute it at all. Me personally, I've been staying home. I've been self distancing. Me and Pickle, you know, you know, we we, we keep her uh Oh no wonder Bitcoin Cash is pumping so hard. Hold on, Bitcoin Cash having is in a few days too. I didn't know that. 
Bitcoin Cash has been pumping big time. Because uh, Bitcoin Cash was at like 200 flat. Not even uh, about, about a week ago, Bitcoin Cash was at 200. Now it's at 243. So damn. <laughs> 147 uh xrp on the move when i first woke up this morning you know i checked the prices when i first wake up now now that it's april i'm like let me check these prices and i seen the market was on fire i was like damn so is it bitcoin cash having or btc having or both damn rob says i have friends every day they cry every day matter of fact you know first thing before we start the show real quick and then we'll jump into some news I definitely want to give a shout out to all first responders, uh, all registered nurses, doctors, anybody that's on the front line out there, um, you know, police officers, firefighters, anybody that has to come in contact with people, you know, with this whole epidemic going around, you know, stay safe and, you know, my hat goes off to you guys, that's for sure. You guys and gals out there that's protecting the people, I appreciate that big time, that's for sure. In the meantime, shout out to XRP Viking. Viking put this picture up this morning. This kind of like really was like, whoa. Just 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 take a look at that picture real quick for one minute. What up, Simi Dot? Good to see you, bro. This is where my brother Viking, Viking lives out here in Florida. That's like the most beautiful picture right there. Soon, guys, we'll be walking along the beaches. We will be back out in public. We will be able to, you know, hug and talk to people and you know it won't be long before this is over i know that's what i said florida i can't wait to get back to florida i miss florida so damn much shout out to viking he lives out in florida good friend of mine shout out to chris xrp ford he lives in florida too i noticed that he posted this he said android maps runs on ripple now, i don't know this is probably something he set up or something but i thought it was kind of interesting basically showing it uh if you pull up <laughs> if you pull up Android Maps, it's gonna show the Ripple logos all over the place. Uh, like I said, he must have did something in his settings or something like that. Oh no, nah, Pickle Pickle loves to have fun. Every time I start looking bored, Pickle comes up with his little toy and starts scratching at me. He always wants to play. So the Bitcoin, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna check that out. Bitcoin Cash having because I never I never really filed a Bitcoin Cash having that much. I got some Bitcoin Cash. But I didn't really follow the having. Right, so I'm, I'm interested in that. John A., good to see you, my brother. That's what I'm thinking, Dixieland. That's what I'm thinking, too, guys. Because truly, I believe, you know, that we are pioneers in the Internet of Value with our XRP and our VChains and our Maddox and, uh, you know, and actually, I got a really good article pulled up, too, guys. But I truly believe we are pioneers in this movement. And matter of fact, I'll pull it up right now. What the hell? Uh, I found this last night, the best time to invest in stocks. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, uh, but he says the best time to invest in stocks, he says recessions. Uh, recessions have statistically made the most millionaires in history because people can buy quality investments at pennies on a dollar. So I was like, whoa, that's kind of true. So I'm not a financial advisor, but last night I picked up some more Cosmos. So I was like, what the hell is taking out on Binance US? I'm going to try to give me a little bit more Cosmos. And then this morning I wake up, and next thing you know, Cosmos is pumping. I said, no way. <laughs> no way. That's like 230 right now. It wasn't like, what, 190 It was like a $2 flat. Now it's at 230 And that's because it's, uh, you can stake it on Binance US. I think staking is going to be huge. We're going to get back to that soon. Staking, you know, I stake Tezos on Coinbase and I stake uh, ALGO and Cosmos on Binance US. Both regulated US exchanges, so it doesn't get no better than that. What up, Lick? Well, thank you, uh, John. I appreciate that. I'm going to check that out. Semi Dot finally got some Tezos? Come on, bro. Uh, the world might see CBDC sooner than expected. Uh, the central bank, central banks, the multiple analysts think the fear of the epidemic transmission via cash, banking cards may shorten the road to a central bank digital currency. And of course, guys, this has been my biggest concern. I know, believe it or not, guys, you know, on the morning show, we talk about a little bit of diversification or whatever. I've been running into some major Cosmos, Kava Labs, uh, Link, uh, and you know, Kava's already partnered with Ripple. And now they're talking about this Cosmos, Kava, Ripple. There's like all connected. So I said, let me get a little bit more of that Cosmos. But uh, so, you know, Cosmos was on fire like, I don't know, a couple months ago. But anyway, 
The central bank of central banks, multiple analysts think that the fear of the epidemic transmission via cash and banking cards may shorten the road to a central bank digital currency, which I truly believe that. But people are afraid of using cash, which is so true. Like when I go to Walmart and you put your money into the self checkout, like I'll take the bills back, but there's like a little change thing there that like drops your change, like your quarters, your nickels and dimes. I don't, there's no way I put my hand down in that piece and grab that change. So I always leave that change. I really want to leave the bills, but you can't leave bills. So, you know, uh, E4, 84, XLM, and XRP starting to show good moves. They're both on Binance USA, so I think they should do good. I believe. I believe. Yeah, I know. I know. I got an article on that staking on Coinbase. They charge the most, and it's like the biggest staking program. It's crazy because it's just so easy to use. It's probably because one is so easy to use, and then Coinbase, you can trust Coinbase as far as, you know, you know your assets are safe. So, I know, but the, but the staking uh, fees on Coinbase are ridiculous. Uh, now, this is people are afraid of using cash. The Bank of International Settlements, BIS, which we put this report out, uh, scientific findings conclude that chances of transmission are higher uh, through metals and uh, pen pad terminals and there's no so basically uh, people are far more concerned about cash than plastic or stainless steel so people are more concerned about cash than plastic and stainless steel so to me personally guys like I'm not taking nothing away from the epidemic but at the same time it really feels like something is just going on a little bit bigger than we think as far as I believe creating fear for people that aren't ex it's like, for example, think about it real quick. How many people have you tried to tell about cryptocurrency or XRP or cashless society? And they don't want to hear none of that. They even start thinking tinfoil hat and conspiracy or getting chipped or something like that. But for the people that don't believe, I think they're going to have a second look at cryptocurrency. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, I know that's what I started noticing too. There are some serious partnerships with Kava, BNB, and Chainlink, and Cosmos. So, yeah, they're working on something. And you guys kind of got to remember what Brian Armstrong said from Coinbase. You know, what's going to be that breakout crypto that's going to take us from $5 billion to $50 billion? Because, uh, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, they're, that's like the first wave. And then we got like your Tezoses, your Cosmoses, your uh, Chainlink. No, I haven't looked at Chainlink too much, but, you know, for some reason, their name keeps on jumping out there. I gotta look into that crypto revolution. What up, Mark? What up, XRP number one? XRP was certainly good to see you. Good morning, guys. Come on now, guys. Show some love out there. We do the show. Guys, we got new show times, 11 and 7. 11 and 7. Uh, that's gonna be the new show times. Easy to remember. 11 in the morning, EST, and 7 p.m. EST. Smash them thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and you will be notified when we go live. Um, Uh, the solution may be a CBDC resilient, accessible central bank operated payment infrastructure could quickly become more prominent, including retail central bank digital currencies. They have been able to withstand large range of shocks such as pandemic cyber attacks and have technology options that enable broad accessibility. So pretty much cryptocurrencies is, is coming in big time. Uh, the pandemic may uh, put a call for CBDC into sharper focus, highlighting the value of having access to a diverse means of payments. So basically, uh, as today, South Korea Central Bank, the Bank of Korea is already one step closer to launching a pilot for a CBDC and could start piloting a token as early as this year. So, whoa. So, but I'm going to say something about Korea. What's this right here? Uh, PWC Global Leader in Asia. Uh, one of those is taking note BS findings. Okay, okay. You guys know PWC runs on VChain. So you guys get that. Shout out to one of my brother, Ant12. I found this on his page. The world might see CBD sooner. So automatically, guys, if you know CBDC, that's a walled garden, which would have to connect to XRP as a bridge currency. So people are afraid of using cash. I know I am. I know I am. 
And I kind of just covered that one right there in that angle. This is Cash and Central Bank's new research shows that why fear could spark adoption of digital currencies. Who said this about a month ago, guys? Who said this? Stan Lee said it. XRP Moonrider said it. Pretty much said that I believe that this whole pandemic uh, research fear could spark adoption for digital currency. Nobody wants to touch money no more. Especially not me. Certainty. And it pretty much echoes the same thing right here. You know, what's, what, what makes this article so valid, though, is this is from the Bank of International Settlements. This is the BIS, Bank of International Settlements. This is like the banker's bank of banks. Uh, has released a new report on cash and the future of payments. Research from the Swiss Bank Central Bank shows that growing concern about cash and how the epidemic is transmitted is among several factors that could accelerate the use of digital payments and adoption through digital currencies. So, you guys get that right there big time. Whoa, holy moly, the legend is here. The one and only Iron Man, Tony Stark. Uh, much love to you, Iron Man. I really appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much, my brother. Uh, XRP, Tony Stark. I went to the grocery store this morning, but made sure I wrapped my entire body in duct tape first. <laughs> uh, this is weird. Is that weird? I don't know. I see everybody's trying to protect themselves as much as possible. It seems like the uh, it seems like the outfits are starting to get more and more elaborate. You know, I seen one guy this morning. He was like completely wrapped. He had like a complete hazmat suit on. I'm like, damn. So, I guess you gotta do what you gotta stay safe. I know, like Dixieland is saying, cash is such a hassle. It's like everywhere I go, like like when Pickle ran out of dog food, like when I went and bought the dog food, I can grab the food, put it in the cart. I don't have to touch one person, no contact with nobody. My biggest concern is when I put my cash into that self checkout and it gives me cash back. And especially that change disc because you got to like reach in there and like scoop your change up. No, I don't play that. I leave the loose change, but not the bills. That's what I'm saying too, guys. It's like uh, first, like the bill collector is saying, the money has always been dirty. That's nothing new. And I think that's nothing is new. I remember seeing so many shows on like 2020 where they tested the money for this and they tested it for that and they said basically everything is on money so i think that this is only going to propel the fear of dealing with currency touching money just wear gloves and a mask <laughs> everybody's talking about that too uh i don't know what to believe about this whole 5g thing C-Dub, you can't stop 5G with gloves and masks. No, I have no idea about the 5G thing, but everybody's talking about that. Guys, uh, just in case you guys want to try to win 250, MoneyGram is doing a giveaway. It's that time. What would you do with the extra 250? Retweet this and how you would spend and receive the 250. MoneyGram just tweeted this this morning. So I figured, I don't know, MoneyGram, this is actually for MoneyGram, so... If you guys want to enter to that, just go to MoneyGram's page and you do the retweet on it. They just did the tweet a sec a few minutes ago, and uh, somebody could win that two fifty. Figured I'd throw that out there. Oh yeah, I seen one thing on his. Uh, my brother uh, Jake Jake Hills works at the airport, and I did see him tweet on Instagram this morning. As a matter of fact, this is for you two Iron Man. So you gotta be careful because. Uh, they're saying if you fly internationally now, there's no telling when you might be able to come back home. Like they're saying if you fly somewhere, you're flying at your own risk. So I guess they were saying that if you fly there, most likely you might not be able to come back until this is over. So you just got to be really careful where you guys, if you're going to fly out the country or, or you go to a different state because you might get stuck there. <laughs> uh, South Korea Central Bank launches digital currency pilot program. Shout out to Deshaun, the legend Goodwin, which is so true. Right? I got two of them right here. Um, oh, yeah, okay, this is a good one, too. March was a record breaking for the month of crypto exchanges. And I said that too, guys. March was a record breaking month for crypto exchanges and also People's Bank of uh, South Korea. Uh, South Korea Central Bank launches digital currency pilot program, but 
if you go to this right here guys south korea central bank launches digital currency pilot program so the bank of korea announced april 6th that it has launched a pilot program to access using a cbdc but if you guys recall korea's second largest bank has confirmed a ripple partner so come on now so we got basically a bank in korea that says okay we're going to use ripple tech now or basically we're looking at a cbdc but at the same time, guys, you cannot have a CBDC without XRP. XRP is the secret sauce. It's the connector. It's the bridge asset for all walled gardens, for all CBDCs. So no matter what country you might have saying, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, we're South Korea Central Bank launches Central Bank Digital Currency. But prior to that, you're going to see that Korea's second largest bank is confirmed a Ripple partner. Come on, guys. It's the bridge asset. No doubt about it. Whoa. XRP risers are in the building. Come on, guys. We got almost 200 people here. Show some love out there. Smash some thumbs up. We do this show every single morning at 11 a.m. EST. Thank you, big time, uh, Iron Man. You're a legend, dude. Especially at a time like this. I really appreciate that. So it looks like we got a lot of people that is uh, on this 5G thing. I don't know what to believe about 5G. I mean, I've seen some interesting videos, but, you know... About a year ago, I stopped believing everything. Like on social media, I really stopped believing anything like mainstream media, any kind of like news. Like I always second guess everything now. So. Damn. Bill Collector says, I work in a hospital in Miami. All the symptoms are. Yeah. Damn. Wow. Uh, who said banks wouldn't use XRP? Today we get news from XRP Research Center, shout out to XRP Researcher, uh, that the second largest bank in Korea is confirmed a Ripple partner, the second largest bank. Do you think the third largest bank or the first largest bank is going to sit back and watch the second largest bank uh, utilize Ripple technology and save all that money and they're not on board also? Come on now. Uh, everybody, they're all on board. Uh, the, the second largest bank in Korea is a confirmed Ripple partner presentation by Sagar you guys know him from Ripple uh, the second largest bank in Korea Ripple customer this means that two of the largest banks in South Korea are now Ripple customers whoa two of the largest banks way to go researcher uh, Shanghai Bank is the second largest bank and it's headquartered in Seoul Korea and historically it was the first bank in Korea established in 1897 damn I can't even believe they had banks back then in 1897 that's why Iron Man must have kept that his gold bullion. <laughs> uh, you guys are going wild today. What do you say? 5G may be harmful, but that's not the issue. There's simply the modern day aliens in the sky. The real. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I've seen a couple of them conspiracy videos this weekend, too. Whose page was that on? I think it was on Venture's page. He was tweeting something about UFOs or something. It was weird. Uh, but, yeah. So you guys get that. Two of Korea's biggest banks run on Ripple. Uh, Bank of Korea. I was doing more research on that. Oh, yeah, guys. I thought this was I thought this was true, too. Uh, Telling BC, good to see you, my brother. Good morning. Breaking. March was record-breaking month for crypto exchanges. This is what I said, too, guys. Because one thing I said... It's just that you guys notice that the traditional stock market is constantly going down. I think they have a record low since like 1973 or something like that. But at the same time, we're also getting articles about institutional custody has went live. Like, for example, Anchorage just went live in the U.S. backed by Visa, $40 million investment from Visa. We uncovered $400 million investment from Yale, the Yale Endowment, who invested in Paradigm, which backs Anchorage. This is my belief. My belief is these traditional stock Wall Street types, they're putting their money into cryptocurrency. They're moving their money from that to this because they know the Internet of Value is time. And that's what I truly believe. And this is why March was record-breaking month for crypto. And why are we steady seeing the crypto market outperforming the S&P? Because they know. They know clearly. Uh, you know, the article does talk about the fees of trading. Uh, the skyrocket earnings show how exchanges which make their money from transaction fees are generally immune to downturn in prices. 
Well, that's one thing I said too, guys, because remember a month ago, I said I got kind of nervous and I started doing some trading and then the fees started tearing my ass up. And I believe a lot of people did the same thing where they said, oh, I'm going to trade into like a stable coin or I'm going to trade into this. But I'm telling you, you're wasting your time. If you're trying to trade like you're crazy, you're just going to lose money. And it's very time consuming and irritating and costly, especially when every time you turn around, the market's steady performing. It's steady being green. Uh, Bitcoin's up to 7,100. XRP, 18 cent. Tezos, 177. You're trading, you're selling, you're dumping, you're scared. And the market is about to blow up. Well, okay. But that's true. Come on, guys. The market's been performing pretty well versus the S&P, and we've been covering that daily. Whoa. Merry Christmas 2.0 with the Super Chat. My brother, much love to you. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, seems like they are trying to crash the economy. <clears throat> I believe, like I said, what it is is people are taking the money out of traditional stocks, and they are moving into this Internet of Value because this is regulated now. Like Anchorage, that's a regulated crypto custody exchange, regulated. So, you know, if you tell Wall Street, okay, we'll hold your XRP for you, we'll hold your crypto for you. Oh, come on now. And then the article also goes into basically um, Binance, meanwhile, became the largest top tier exchange by volume in March. So I'm telling you, people are getting into crypto. Crypto exchange Bitfinex saw highest volumes throughout the first hour. According to the report, 10, 11 a.m., 12, Bitfinex accounted for 40% of all top exchange volume trading, a remarkable 11.8 million in a single minute. I'm telling you guys, this is real-time payments. Welcome to the Internet of Value. This is this is where it's at. No way. Let's refresh that. The XRP just jumped to 19 cents. That means the market is pumping. Yeah, Ethereum is pumping 9%. XRP is pumping 5%. What's it, 19 cents on Coinbase? Yeah, guys, I'm telling you. That Anchorage article where traditional uh, anchors went live for institutional investors. I'm telling you, they're they're, they're they're setting up all these programs so these Wall Streets don't have to set up their own wallet or they don't have to buy their own crypto. They're just buying, give me a million dollars in XRP and then Anchorage will hold it for them. And it's safe. So that's what they're doing. Give me a million dollars in Bitcoin. And this is institutional investors. So they're saying, oh, we'll hold five XRP for you. No, this is real money. Big time money. Let me check Coinbase real quick. Matter of fact, we can pull Coinbase. All right, let me check over here first. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, somehow I must. Tony Stark here is right here, guys. A legend himself. Somehow I pulled him up. Uh, you definitely want to give XRP Tony Stark a follow. This guy's like the big heart, big, big time, outgoing legend. You know, always positive, upbeat. He's a legend. Shout out to Tony Stark. That's for sure. It's at XRP Tony Stark. Merry Christmas 2.0 with the super chat. My brother, thank you big time. Uh, aliens equals fallen angels. This is a great deception. <laughs> Damn, the market is on fire. Good God. Yeah, you're right. X XRP just hit 19 cent on a... Uh, let me pull it up, guys. The market's on fire. I like to welcome everybody to the green stream. I told you guys, April and May, buckle up. And I told you guys last month, don't be dumping your crypto. You got. Remember, I remember I did a video about two weeks ago. I said, does Wall Street have your crypto? Because many people were selling because they were getting nervous. I said, listen, don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Uh, XRP right now, 19%, 19 cent pumping 5%. And the market's looking beautiful. Uh, Tezo's about to hit 180 right now. Whoa. Stellar says pumping 15%. Damn. And if you pull up Coinbase, it just looks so beautiful right now. I love green. Green looks beautiful. Uh, what up, Savvy XRP? Good to see you, my brother. Welcome. So good to see you. Smash that thumbs up. Show some love. The green stream. Thank you, John. Hey, I appreciate that. Yeah, green stream all the way. And you guys better get ready for a lot of damn green streams for the month of April and May. I'm telling you, it's time to get real. Huh? I'm telling you guys, we've done our homework, we've done our research, we understand what the internet of value is, we understand the partnerships. We understand that the CFTC comes out. Uh, chairman of the CFTC calls for U.S. to be leader in digital assets. The leader. The leader. And I'm going to show you guys, this is some big connections right there. But I kind of wanted to crush some FUD real quick, just for fun. Just for fun. Let's crush FUD. What do you think, Dustin D.L.? 
Dustin Dio is a damn legend. Dio, what's your whole thoughts on the epidemic? <laughs> it was Dio I was talking to, right? Let me look at my messages real quick. Hold on. Let me see one thing. What's all that? Okay, hold on. Dio, what's your whole thoughts on this whole epidemic? Huh? <laughs> Cause a little controversy in here. See what Dio's thoughts are. What up, Yeet Dio? Guys, shout out to Dan Carney. He's here right now. Shout out to Dan Carney. He has a beautiful dog. I love Danny's dog. I'm a, I'm a dog lover. What can I say? Um, Danny shared this article. Swift challenges Ripple, Visa, and FinTech startups. Uh, develops instant payment system for small to medium-sized enterprises. My belief is, guys, Swift is going to be interoperable with R3 and Ripple. I just don't think Swift is going to compete with Ripple because Ripple is already crushing the competition with the connections it has with Visa and Earthport. Uh, I think that no matter what, there's no way Swift could crush Ripple with the connections and the partnerships they have. You know, Oh, okay. Really good point right there, number one. Thank you, bro. Right on time. That's a really good point. Uh, XRP number one says, Swift Challenge, Ripple, and Visa, and FinTech Startup develops instant payments, not instant settlements. So, okay. Right on the, right on the money right there, number one. Thank you big time. Uh-oh. I'm just joking, guys. I'm just joking. I just, I just talked to so many different people, though, that you know, some people are connected to the hospital and they said this. And then other people are connected to the hospital and they said that. I just don't know what the hell to believe. I don't know what the hell to believe. So you guys get that. I'm going to come back to this one real quick. Let me see. There's like uh, Now, nah, what the hell? I'm going to jump on this one real quick, guys. And then we're going to jump into the CFTC article. And I'll break that down for you guys. But first, I do want to cover one thing here. Come on, guys. We got over 250 people here. Smash some thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe. We do uh, we do two shows a day, 11 a.m. EST, and then we do a show at 7 p.m. EST. Show some love out there. Smash some thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. This caught my attention last night, guys. The best time to invest. I'm not a financial advisor. I just read this. Uh, the best time to invest is in a recession. Recessions have statistically made the most millionaires in history because people can buy a quality investment at pennies on a dollar. And if you guys got to thinking about it, I remember when I first jumped in ALGO, it was 30 cent. Uh, it crashed down to like 16 cents. So I was like, damn. I said, let me get some more of that ALGO. And same thing with Cosmos. I think it was like upwards of five and then it crashed to two and then Cezos. But all these are in passive income. Like these are Binance USA staking and then Coinbase staking. So I actually put this up last night on my Instagram. That was last night I put that up. And then when I woke up this morning, what do I see? All them tokens pumping profusely. <laughs> I was like, no way. Party time. Let's do this. Excellent. Oh, I don't want to try to cause too much of a controversy in here. I'm just joking. I was just joking, Dio. Uh, I was just joking. Thank you, Dawson. Show some love out there. So, and just a quick heads up, guys, for people that, uh, where is it at? Okay, here it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cosmos. Yeah, guys, I've been doing like a little bit of research on Cosmos lately. Cosmos powers 80 platforms. Uh, Cosmos Chainlink will bring DeFi and Oracles to Cosmos Network. Kava Labs tests B&B &B Bridge to launch. That's what I'm saying, guys. Kava, Cosmos. B and B, Chainlink, like they're working on something behind the scenes. And the last thing I want to show you guys right here is a number of promising projects are planning to launch staking on mainnet. So they got Matic on here, Harmony. I've been hearing about this and I haven't had a chance to look it up yet. But anyway, the point of the story is, guys, is I, I tweet on my bullish network Twitter, Crypto Millionaire 33. If you guys are interested in like staking, Cosmos, or uh, any kind of like XTZ, I kind of tweet those on this page right here. Because a lot of people don't know about staking. They don't know what the hell's going on. So, uh, you know, this is for people that want to take it a little bit deeper. <laughs> a little bit deeper. So, I'll get back to you guys on those. You know you know when we'll get back to you. When they're pumping hard to sell. 
Yeah, D.O., I'm just messing with you. I just like actually calls and like, you know, here's my thing. I don't know what to believe about the epidemic. I'm not saying it's real fake. All I'm saying is I'm constantly getting, you know, different scenarios. But at the same time, I look at it like this. Chris Larson's okay. I think we're all going to be okay. Chris Larson did it. I know we can do it. Right? Chris Larson's good. Damn. He says my wife is an RN. Uh, 10K negatives and one positive. So, that's kind of interesting. Damn right, Scrooge. It's a green stream. All right, all right, guys. Enough controversy about that. Let's... All right, so now we know that there's two ends of the candle burning here. So, hey. But check this out, guys. This is huge right here. Chairman, CFTC calls for U.S. to be digital asset leader. So, this right here, guys, is... This is like, whoa. This is like, if you guys aren't getting your ducks in order, if you don't... Oh, you know what else I want to tell you guys? Another thing is, too, is don't try to FOMO in crypto <laughs> with the last second. It does not work like that. Like, for example, I did get some Cosmos last night, right? You know, but not that many, you know, just a few more because they're more expensive, like two bucks each. So this morning when I saw the pump and I was like, maybe I'll get a couple more real quick. So I tried to phone you guys know they call me Dr. FOMO. I saw I said, I'm going to FOMO in some more Cosmos. I tried to get some more Cosmos. Guys, them orders would not fill. They would not fill. I tried to fill the orders. It was like two fifteen, And if you see where it shows, I'm filling them at two fifteen, two dollars and fifteen cent. Next thing you know, it's valued at two twenty. So they're not filling your orders. If you put an order in at two dollars flat and the price shoots to two twenty, they will not respect your order for some reason. So then I hurry up and hit cancel order. And then I was like, all right, well, I'll fill it at this new price just to see what happens. I cancel the order. I try to fill it at the new price. And it won't fill the new order. When, when something's pumping kind of like too hard, it won't fill. So that's why it's always best to buy the dip. It's kind of like, which is the hardest thing to do to buy the dip, I know. Who wants to buy something when it's going down? But I'm telling you, it's much more worth it. So when it starts going up, I know that's happened to you guys before. Yeah, yeah, if you want to see it go down, just FOMO in. Like, I wouldn't recommend FOMO in in Cosmos right now because it's already pumping. So you kind of already missed that one a little bit. But the thing is, what I'm telling you guys, if you try to FOMO in like that at the last second, it's, whoa, 232. Damn, I wish they would have filled my order at 215. 232. I mean, you know, this thing rare had an all-time high, what, $5 right here? $5, what? And a staking on Binance USA too? What? Okay. We gonna come back to that story. Watch, watch when we come back to that story next month. Y'all gonna be like, damn it! He told us about Tezos. At, I mean, Cosmos at two. Not. Anyway, all right, huh? I know, no, no. Nah, don't FOMO today, guys. Wait till the dip. Wait till the dip this time. Chairman of CFTC calls for U.S. to be digital asset leader. Guys, if you don't know who the chairman of the CFTC is, it doesn't get no bigger in that department. Uh, CFTC chair is also has a chair on the Financial Stability Oversight Council, which is Steve Mnuchin, Jay Clayton. Uh, cryptos don't pose no threat to the financial system. We can tie every major heavyweight to back in digital currencies. Dustin Dio, you're a legend. Oh, Chris XRP4, you know what you missed? I gave you a shout out right here. Chris XRP4 in Florida. Uh, it looks like your Google Maps pull up Ripple logos. See, I got you, bro. You're a legend, Chris. Can't wait to ride on that boat with you, bro. Last week, CFTC issued guidance on delivery of digital assets. Oh, yeah, that's right. He made clarity on delivery last week, too. Like, they're giving more and more clarity. This is getting real. Last week, CFTC chair issued guidance on delivery of digital assets. The guidance focuses on the actual delivery of a virtual asset in retail commodity transactions in a continuation of leadership. So, the chairman, Heath Tarbert, with his call for the U.S., to be leader in digital assets. You know what that means? I hope you guys are getting your ducks in order because this is about to get very serious. Providing clarity to the market, which they already have. Bitcoin's a commodity, Ethereum's a commodity, and Ripple's registered with FinCEN as a money transmitter. That's the only clarity we need right now. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, don't film it, don't wait. It'll probably pull back. Uh, Cosmos will pull back a little bit. Cause it was like 190 for like a week or two, so people are gonna start selling at like 230, 240 just to get some money, and then uh, it'll probably drop back to around two. So you'll have a time to get back in. I know, believe it or not, I was so upset. Believe it or not, I uh, 
like I went back and checked my order and it just wasn't filled. So then you know you can go to like the the part where your order is filling. Let me just show you real quick. Uh, if you go to uh, and this was on Binance US, so I was kind of surprised about that too. I had that problem before, like Binance regular, where they wouldn't fill my orders. But I've never had a problem with Binance USA not filling my order. So, yeah, and I had it on Cosmos USDT. Damn, it's already up at 236. You got to be joking me. I put a nice order in at 215. They should have filled that. They should have filled my order at 215. And if you don't, if, if they'll never fill it. They don't, it sucks. But anyway, uh, I lost the point of the story I was saying now because they didn't fill my order. What the hell was I going to say? What's it, 236? Oh, yeah, okay. It was on Binance USA. I'm so surprised that it didn't fill the order because normally the transactions are really fast on there. So it's normally best to get in ahead of time. But damn, it's pumping. Yeah, everything is pumping. It's about to hit 240. Good God. So anyway, yeah, FOMO, no FOMO. Uh, providing clarity to the market participants is one of the CFCC's core values, said CFCC Chairman Heath Torbert. Uh, guidance not only fulfills the commitment, but it reflects my belief that the U.S. must be the leader in the digital asset space. These efforts are also especially critical when uh, the hard-earned income of everyday Americans is at stake. Yeah, so they said, hey, this is real now. Under the leadership, the CFTC will continue to do its part and encourage responsible fintech innovation through sound regulation. This Guidance not only fulfills the commitment, but it reflects my belief that the U.S. must be the leader in the digital asset space. Woo! Guys, it doesn't get no bigger than that. That's pretty much for anybody that says crypto was fake, crypto's a scam, crypto's not here to stay. Ask the chair of the CFTC. See what he has to say about that. Bam. Big time. He's backing it. He's not playing. I never had a problem with Coinbase yet. I never had a problem with Coinbase at all. It's just that uh, I'm surprised. I think what it is, you know what it is, is it, it, you can't FOMO like that, like that. I mean, I've have seen, I have seen orders fill before, but what had happened was uh, as soon as I put the order in to try to fill it, it was like two. I remember looking at it specifically, it was like two fifteen because that's what it was at, and then next thing you know, it shot up like two twenty. So somehow they must got the algorithm set up to where if you try to buy it in at like a lower price and the price jumps real quick, it stalls your sale. There must be something going on there. And uh, just like right now, let me see if I try to. But I always wonder if you buy just a tad bit. Let me see if I just buy. Let's buy 25% at what it's at right now just to see what it does. It's like, t let me see if it goes through. All right. So I put the order in real quick. For twenty five percent, I just want to see if it fills. Damn, that one filled quick. I also think that too. It depends on how much you buy. If you're buying like maybe very very little bit, they fill. But if you say, okay, I'm gonna get a ton, then they don't fill. I can't believe that filled that quick. Because if I go to trades, open orders, yeah, that order filled fast as hell. I've never seen an order that. Yeah, they probably it's probably done pumping now. That's why that filled. Where's it at right now? Uh. 233 because it was a 236 watch watch this watch guys i'm gonna give you an example why you probably shouldn't film we're gonna see what happens it's even gonna go down it's probably gonna go down we're gonna see what happens but yeah if i would probably try to fill 50 percent or 75 percent it wouldn't have filled but sometimes small orders fill or right now what it is it dumped and i, I told you it's probably gonna start dumping uh people are gonna start selling at 230 and then that's why i say why why the market's pumping and you think you're buying they're dumping on you. So you guys got to be careful a little bit with that. Uh, I try to go through all the ups and downs to show you guys. Uh, Don Don GTO says it's sometimes based on the sell order or available sell order price. Uh, up, that's it, bro. When your price jumps, your order will not fill. Yeah, when the price jumps, your order will not fill. So that's why it's really just to be prepared. Uh, I mean, if you're confident in the token, I would basically... Hop it on the dip. That's the best time. No way, bro. 19 cents. Stop playing. This is XRP 19 cent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It jumped to 19 cent. Yeah, it's pumping hard, too. It just pumped. It just jumped to uh, 6%. Damn. Tezos just hit 180. XLM. 
Let's see what XLM is at. X, I don't, XLM had to have jumped to five cent by now, right? Because it was pumping fourteen percent, and it was at four cent, right? Where is it at? XLM. Sixteen percent. Oh, I mean, what's the percentage it got to jump to before it actually jumps a penny? Because it was at fourteen percent, four cent. Now it's at sixteen percent, four cent. That's what I'm saying. Bull trapper, good deal. What you think, Kenny Williams? Up to you, my brother. Uh, check this out, guys. And then we're going to get out of here. Two new records from Ripple. Huh? Two new records. Two new. We're talking new corridors. Uh, the product named On Demand Liquidity developed by Ripple continues to grow rapidly. This product, which has limited use until a few months ago, broke two new records a few hours ago. And shout out to Mac Attack. I got this from him. Uh, according to the information covered by liquidity index box two new records were broken in the corridors established by ripple in australia and mexico what so you know what that means tell them rose come on guys please smash the thumbs up hit that subscribe for you guys leave uh australia you know first we were running record breaking remittances and utility from mexico to philippines and now we're running record breaking utility to australia good at mate. i come from australia my name's crackadal dundee Huh? And that's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> you guys are wild. Uh, I think it's because my brother Digital Asset Daily has been beating that XLM drum and people are like, oh, I mean, it's on Binance US. I mean, it's almost a no-brainer, I'm assuming. Uh, Dustin Dio says, everybody likes XLM now. I know, believe it or not, there was a time when I first got in crypto in 2018, you could not mention XLM without people flipping out. Crypto has changed so much over the last two years, it's wild. Uh, XRP Riser, please smash some thumbs up, hit that subscribe. Uh, Dan Carney. Yeah, I use the market orders like if you buy like on the, what, on the desktop, right? Guys, you can follow me on Instagram. The future is limitless, and I truly believe that. Welcome to the Internet of Value. I'm Bullzilla, and this is the Bullish Family. We do this show every single day at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. If you guys can please smash some thumbs up, hit that subscribe. Uh, woo! Chris Pine. I'm going to see you guys tonight at 7 p.m. Jalal. Justin Dio is a legend. Kenny Williams, a legend. Bullish Brodus, Moon Rider. Don Don GTO. Michael Angelo. Michael Angelo. Good to see you, my brother. Hope you guys have a good day and stay safe. Whoa. that is seven bullish family number one xrp and mr pickles going to the moon tina papa